Uh, have I been travelling this weekend? Yes, I have. Where to? Guess where? Good old London town. And and was London transport to your liking? Yes, it was, because I actually stayed somewhere very, very close to where I needed to be, so I didn't need to get on the wretched tube. Ah. Um, so London transport did not upset me, although I'm still waiting for a response from Mr. Ben Bradshaw. <laughs> I am yet to hear from you, Mr. Ben Bradshaw, so if you are listening, my old son, please respond to my letter immediately. Uh, um, yes, he may be waiting for London transport, well, transport for London. Yes, um... I, I I think it would be lovely if Ben Bradshaw ever got time to uh, to actually invite him in to our show, or for me to go out oh. for a, for me to go out for a coffee with him. I would love well, yes. to go out yes. for a coffee with him. Maybe we can go. Maybe we can go into the museum cafe, me and Ben Bradshaw, and oh, yeah. do and yeah. Yeah, maybe I can do a recording of an interview with Mr. Ben Bradshaw to find out how he got into politics in the first place, because uh, I do think that he is. Very is one of the best politicians of um, of actually telling. Uh, he's always the first one to be outside and and um, and telling everybody about what he thinks and and uh, so yeah, I'm very I I I'm very satisfied that Ben Bradshaw is actually still the leader of Exeter. Yeah. Okay. There can be there can be um, discussions about. Um Various various votes. Yes, yes, I have emailed. Internal discussions within the Labour Party. Yes, I have emailed him. Of a him. friendly sort of manner. Yes, I have emailed him on several occasions about concerns that I have, and he's he's responded to my emails promptly, actually. Well, that's very um, good. John, I'll, ju I'll just put in a little warning. If he, if he does come into the show, there may be some other issues to, to, to raise as well. Okay. But we'll start off with your concerns and uh, see, see if he wants to stay or what talk issue, about other things. What issues have you got to... Uh, well, um, not long ago, I, I believe I'm right in saying this, he did, he did vote for the, the bombing of um, various places in Syria. Yes. Now... And, and uh, so that, that's an issue, I think, which, which uh, even within the Labour Party or within the, yes. the Greens and various people who might, for tactical reasons, vote for each other or not on various occasions, well, we, it's, a wide, it's a wide open, uh, open you, area of discussion, John. You could... You could if we really wanted to make this show political, which I think we will at one stage in our lives, we may invite Ben Bradshaw into Funny Cafe on a Tuesday morning. Mm -hmm. um, I would actually ask him why he voted for the bombings of Syria. Unfortunately, it's um, very, it's very. I think it's very sad. I think, I think. What's your opinion on George W. Bush? While we're getting to this subject, George W. Bush. Yeah, because because you told me the other week. It's, it, you know, I mean, I mean, like this whole thing on war. I don't agree with war and conflict. I'd rather just for the world to go along and, you know, say, you know, everybody get along. I mean, like, why, why should we be getting involved with America and why should America be, you know, why should we be bombing? Oh. Why should be? Why should we be get, getting involved in all these wars anyway? Why can't well, the world well, just be a civilized place? Well. You're, you're asking very large questions, John. Do you, do you want to carry on with this? Well, we'll come back to a music show. Uh, in well, let's let's give it about three or four minutes. Okay. Well. Uh, well. I okay. Think well, since you go back to George W. Bush, um, I think you have to look at all of these situations as a sequence. Right. Because I think the regime change mentality. Right. Which was supported by various people, whatever they say. Right. In my opinion. Right. Um, has had a lot of very unfortunate consequences. Right, okay, okay. Because, um, well, I think that's all I'm going to say at the moment. Right. Look, Ben, if, if Ben Bradshaw wants to come in and talk about his lobbying of transport for London, well, we welcome that. That's where we're starting. Well, I'll send him an email. Uh, but look, the other thing I would say that I think is getting more complicated at the moment is the, the whole situation of social media. Yes. Because... He's on Facebook. I am on Facebook. Yeah, Fat Ben Bradshaw's, Bradshaw's on, on Facebook. 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 Everybody's on Facebook. That's all right. But the question is, what what is said about um, people who use Facebook? The, because um, it is believed, it's been suggested, it's been reported that Jeremy Corbyn actually had a much better take on social media than other Labour Party candidates. Right. That's one sort of view that has been expressed, which I think might well be true. Mm -hmm. um, but since then. Um, it's also been suggested that the kind of people who supported Je him, Jeremy Corbyn in opposition to the decision to, to drop some more bombs mm -hmm. 
um, are probably Trotskyists or not very sensible people mm -hmm. and are also very rude. Right. But the kind of tweets that they post are of a bullying nature. Right, OK. Whereas somebody like George W. Bush, who may or may not have made a joke about dropping a bomb on Al Jazeera, right. um, as reported in the Daily Mirror, uh -huh. um, that's, that's, that, what, what is, is that bullying? What, uh -huh. what is that regarded as being? Well, uh, people could regard it on what they want to regard, couldn't they? I mean... I well, yeah, know, it was it, possibly it was just a joke. Possibly. People might look at it in other ways, I don't know. Anyway, um... But I we might have put him off by now. Uh, well, uh, well he, there's, there's no saying he's listening, so... No. Uh, ben Bradshaw, if you are listening, um, it's good for you to be listening to our show, I think, and, um... <laughs> I will be sending you an email, so... He, d he did say the... It, 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 as, it, as reported in um, the student newspaper for the university, he has said the students there were very polite. Ben Bradshaw? Yeah, he says the, 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 the there were a range of views raised... Right. ...on his recent visit to them. Right. And um, he, he did say that they are very polite, very right. polite people out there. Right. Though I think there, have, there just have been various ways in which the people on social media are represented in the mainstream media, mm -hmm. which I think is just a bit dangerous. OK. Because I think it might end up with a lot of um, polarised positions that people are right. sort of po posting on Twitter or something which they think is reasonable mm -hmm. as a point of view. And it's always represented as um, inadmissible, really. OK. Anyway, we've, we've, gone, we've gone way off, way off this, this normal, the normal function of the show, but yeah. that doesn't matter, John, does it? I mean, Not I think much. It's, it's, it's the We Don't Know show, so we don't, yeah. we don't anyway, know... Let's play... Uh, on, we'll go back. We'll get on to playing some music. OK. Um, so, uh, the first song I'm going to play, and then I'm going to hand it...